Hello and welcome to the Code Maven channel. In this video, we're going to talk uh, about converting a simple script into a Linux service or also called daemon in the Linux Unix world. Uh, you know probably many uh, existing services like uh, the SSH service that's listening to an SSH connection or a web server or a database. These are all uh, run, uh, run there are all services uh, they are all servers, they are all run as services, meaning that they are run sort of in the back background without even user interaction. Usually these types of services start when the computer starts without any person logging in. So what if you would have a script that does something, doesn't really matter now what, and you would like to convert it into uh, such a service. And for that, we are going to see a really simple Python script that does not, doesn't do much, uh, but uh, that's not really the, the point. The point is uh, how to convert it into a uh, service. And we won't change the script, so it doesn't really matter what is actually the, the, the content of the script. So what you can see here on the screen is this uh, simple script that uh, can get a parameter on the command line. And uh, what it does, it runs the continuous loop and opens a log file uh, in an append mode and prints just one line uh, uh, the current timestamp with this parameter that potentially got from the command line uh, into the file, then waits one second and does, does it again. So we can start, uh, I'll switch to the background here, uh, and uh, we could uh, run this uh, script. It's called Python examples, daemon uh, in this case, um, this is where I, it's located in my in the file system in the directory structure of the code level website. So I can run this script. We don't see anything going on because the script doesn't uh, print any skin uh, to the screen, but we can switch to a separate uh, screen, separate terminal. And here we can type in tail minus F and TMP timestamp log. And here you can see that the file is growing and every second it adds a new uh, line. And uh, we can switch back to the main, uh, the pr previous uh, uh, terminal. And here uh, we can just stop it. So the way to, to stop it is pressing Control C and then it gets a keyboard interrupt. If we, if we switch back in ag again to the terminal where we were observing this script, it just it doesn't grow anymore because the uh, program uh, stopped running. So what do we need here? Need here in order to uh, convert this into a service, we need to we need a configuration file for the services, and this is how a configuration file looks like. It has some description. Uh, the main, uh, the most important part, I think, uh, or maybe the only important part here at this point, is the exec start uh, line uh, value uh, where you have the Python, it's written full, full pass, where the Python executable is, and then the full pass uh, to the script, um, where, so this is the location of the script in my file system. Uh, obviously, in your case, it, it's going to be uh, different. And then here we can also add the parameter. And that's something that I didn't show uh, earlier. So let me show this, uh, get back to, uh, for a second uh, to the script. So we could run this uh, command with let's say foo bar as a parameter. So because there are more than one words with a space, I put it in, in quotes. And if I run this uh, and switch back to the other screen, then you can see now that you can see the prefix foo bar added to these output lines uh, because that's what the script does. So now again, I'll just stop this here and switch back again and see that it's not growing anymore, okay? So that's just to show that uh, this command line parameter can be applied from the regular command line. And this is how you do it inside the, the service. Um, so that's what we, we need to do. And uh, then we need to, uh, and we, we can put this configuration for anywhere. There is actually a specific space place where it should be, but you can symbolic link. You can create a symbolic link from that central place where all the service configuration files are located to where your actual file uh, is located. So what we need to do is uh, sudo uh, ln minus s, and I don't know, okay, because I didn't type it correctly, 
sudo ln okay so this is what i need to do i already did it so it, it was in in the in the um, history of the of the command line um, of the shell uh, in the article that uh, is coming with the with the video you can find this uh, ln find the files of course and then you can also find the command that i just executed here so this will take the the file which, which I was editing or I could edit, uh, which is could be anywhere on the file system, to the actual physical actual location where um, all the configuration file, all the service configuration file need to be, and they uh, need to be uh, dot service uh, have they need to have this dot service extension. So I run this, uh, and of course I need to use sudo because this uh, is under the control of the uh, root user. And I, or, I was already logged in, so apparently uh, this just uh, executed. Now we can we need to start the, the daemon, but before we can start the daemon, we need to execute some other command. Uh, and this is the command here. Now I'm just copying here from the article already uh, that will reload basically or tell the, the, the whole uh, uh, system to reload the configuration files. So this is what I execute. This will basically tell the operating system uh, or the, the system CTL service uh, that there is another configuration file here. Also, this will have to be executed every time you change the file. So if you change the content of the, of the file here, that also applies to the symbolic link, and then you will have to rerun it in order to this to, to take an effect. Once you did this, now you can start the, the service. And it is how you start it, systemctl start and name of the service. And of course, uh, preceding it is this sudo. And this is starting the service. So the service is now supposed to be running. Let's see what happens here. And you see, it doesn't work. And this was one of the issues that I faced while I was trying to prepare this article. And I'm showing this because this is a good way to, to trouble show also how to how to troubleshoot this issue. So first of all, I could look at the status of this uh, service. I can run systemctl status and the name of the service. And it, uh, it gives me uh, some information that it's failed to activate. It says it's with some exit code. Um, it, it doesn't go, give me the actual reason why it failed. Um, just that it's some exit code some problem with this executing the script. Uh, so the other thing that I did here is I ran, a, I looked at the syslog uh, uh, file. So this is the general log file of the system. And here, at the, going to the button, I can, uh, lots of other stuff here going on, but uh, what I um, saw is this one, okay? Okay, it, 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 it takes a, a bit of looking at it to find out what is the relevant uh, issue, but this is what I found. So it doesn't have, it couldn't open the file for uh, append. And uh, so what I try to do is uh, see what is going on with the file. And this is the file that uh, was supposed to be open. And I can see that it's, uh, uh, it doesn't have write access uh, for all the users. And it's owned by Gabor, which is myself. Uh, but the daemon is run as the as a different user, as a root user. So uh, in this case, this is where, where it was configured. So I could at this point try to change the which user to, to run the daemon with, or um, I could change the the rights, the, the the rights on the file itself, or I could just go and remove the file, whatever. Um, fits your your need at this point. So I just removed the file and then tell the, told the service to start again to try to start again. At this time, if I run the uh, status, now it says that's active. If I switch back here, it doesn't do anything because that that's a whole separate issue because uh, this tail is now connected to the old file that was already removed. So I just have to stop the tail and rerun it because the name of the file is the same, but it's actually physically the different file. So now if I run the tail again, you can see here that it's growing. Right? And it has this my daemon 
uh, written as a as a prefix. So basically, that's that's uh, that's the whole thing you have to do. Uh, in the article, you can see this uh, the same issue and how I dealt with this removing the file. But you can of course uh, do uh, uh, fix it in different ways uh, as well. Now this whole configuration file that you saw this uh, this configuration file is is a very um, it doesn't show you much uh, at this point. I only, only showed you the very basics of how to create a, a service. There are lots of other, other uh, options here, uh, but of course, uh, this already can help you get started and create your own service. And then uh, you can start uh, reading about it more and then see how can you uh, improve this. So thank you uh, for watching and uh, please follow the channel, uh, like the video, share it and uh, so on. Bye-bye.